What's up, guys and girls? How are we all doing? Welcome back to my farm, my pig farm, soon to be pig farm. My name is Dave, and I live on Oak Glen Farm in Oakfield. And um, as I've said, you know, I am trying to get this farm up and running, get some piggies on the, uh, get some piggies on the farm and start, uh, start making some money. So uh, basically what the today's, um, as you can see, I've been cultivating for a lot of the day today. And uh, this is a really big field and we've only got a six meter I say only, it's still really big, um, but uh, it's a six meter uh, Vogel Newt Oops. Um, cultivator, so um, try and spin this round, give me a second, and uh, yes, the um, this field I am seriously considering splitting into possibly three sections I think and um, hopefully I should be able to should be able to um, pretty much um, use this field maybe one other to keep the pigs fed um, the cedar that I have chosen or that I have is um, only it's not direct drill um, it does corn and sugar beets so we'll be doing sugar beets instead of potatoes I know I did say about potatoes but um, I have uh, decided to do that excuse me um, so we'll yes we'll do we'll do those two um, but we do need to cultivate before we can seed um, we are a little bit the temperature is still not quite right the ground temp is um, still not quite high enough for us to get a decent yield off our crops so um, we are going to be um, waiting for another another few days at least I would think maybe weeks until we can uh, till the temperature picks up a bit okay, I'm just trying to get as close to the edges as I can here um, so yes I am pretty much where we're coming up here now you can see there's like a, a, a dog leg there I want to try and come straight across there with the with the cedar and I think this side here will probably be sugar beets um, whether or not I'll put in maybe a grass strip down or just leave a gap in the field um, you know for if if I need to use it as a complete crop field I haven't thought that far ahead so but hopefully hopefully we'll all be good So and uh, I am lucky lucky enough for this to have have GPS. The screen is a bit dodgy and it keeps cutting out, but um, I have uh, managed to get it all set up. Um, and I know that I've got the course right, and uh, hopefully we won't have any other problems. It's just one of those things that just it just kind of happens um, and I haven't just haven't got around to fixing the uh, the GPS screen yet 
but um, I will I will have to do that very very soon I think so come on stuck in it right there there we go that's better get that out of there lovely job that's pretty much good I think there we go pop that down there we have it right let's crack on again lovely job so how is everybody doing today um, I am really really looking forward to uh, getting some crop in getting it all sorted oh you know I want to really start to see the um, the crop start to appear and uh, that will really make me feel like yes I am starting to achieve something um, in uh, in this farming career that I am trying to put in place so I do keep having you know I mean I I keep heading off helping out over at uh, Cornbrook Contractors um, when they when they have me over it's not quite so much this time of year um, I mainly get called in over the harvesting period um, you know to help with um, grain carting or bale carting that kind of stuff at the moment um, you know but uh, you never know where stuff like that might lead but at the moment I am using it or I, well, I have been using it to as pretty much like a learning curve for me you know teach myself some some oops Daisy there we go so yes I've been uh, I've been using that experience um, just to teach myself bits and pieces and using um, Jamie and Thomas using those to um, you know ask questions and they're very helpful very very helpful um, and uh, they do their own vlogs and stuff over on on YouTube as well um, links to their um, respective uh, YouTube channels that allow them to upload their vlogs um, I have asked the um, person to uh, who hosts mine to put some links in his descriptions um, so they'll all be down in the description below when you're watching this and uh, don't forget to head over and uh, and check those guys out as well very very good people and uh, at the moment are really really teaching me teaching me a lot at the minute um, it's all to do with um, for me it's just as of as I said I am I class myself as a basic farmer I can do basic farming pretty much you know I can harvest and plow cultivate that kind of stuff I can do all this really is not not a problem it's it's everything else the real the real farming what is what what I call it it's all knowing your crop knowing when to fertilize when to put your pesticide down and your herbicides and getting it just right so you know when to when to get the harvester out and when to you know when to hack into it and how long to leave the straw on the on the floor for to to get it to nice and dry and to get it to you know to the bale up and stuff it's it's all stuff like that that um, I am slowly trying to to learn and uh, it's fascinating it really really is oops, fascinating not sure I'm gonna get around that bit there so we'll turn that around here now lock on the on the classes uh, got quite a nice lock on it I must be honest pull that into the field a bit drop it down and there we go 
So, but you know, yet, yet, yet again, it's this is just another part, another part of farming. It's not, it's not the most glamorous part of um, of it, but it, it 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 is what it is. I'm afraid. So, this will probably be, you know, a quick sort of 15, 15 minute video, just you know. So I'm just letting you know what what my plans are for this field. Um, as you know I've never really talked about this field before this is the field that we had the um, I got a worker in to help me do this field and uh, they came out and done it done it themselves in that um, I think it was a T7 I think um, with the uh, with the big uh, five meter plow that we have um, they put one of those as as, as well so uh, that was uh yeah that was pretty cool to watch that going around the field get that they were about this is a thing you see with these with these old tractors you get you get right into the bushes if you can because it uh, you know you get you're gonna get scratches and stuff but you want to you want to get as much, much of the field as possible. Um, you know, we'll probably nip round and do a couple of headlands as well at the on the on the end of it all. So um, I'm trying to leave a gap just enough to you know to get us round twice. So you know, roughly about sort of 10, 10 to twelve meters, and uh, we should be good, hopefully. So, but uh, yes. So just to well, to confirm everything, in case there's anybody just kind of skipping their way through the videos, which I know people do do, um, this field here is going to be sectioned into at least three. We're going to have corn in the majority of the field because uh, corn is the kind of one of the biggest parts. Um, of the uh, pig's diet so we're going to need a lot of that what's the easiest way for me to go around yeah probably just to spin round and then back up I think um, so yeah so we're going to have majority corn and we're also going to have some sugar beets on this field as well and I might do the rest because uh, we need some kind of um, either like a sunflower or a, a soybean. So I might do that on here as well. And uh, we'll just uh, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Um, I have got the pig forage bags to fall back on if I want them. Um, I would like to get them used if I can because I don't just want them sitting about. Um, but I am going to have to go and pick up some. We do still have. Um, there is some fertilizer and some seed and everything back on the farm. But I just want to go and grab a couple of. Um, pallets or bags possibly depending on um, what I can get at the time if they've got an offer on pallets I'll have pallets if they've got an offer on bags I'll have bags I'm really I'm really not worried on what what style I have um, but I would like to go and pick up a couple of those so we're gonna at some point take the Um, we'll take the loader down down to the shop with the flatbed again and pick up some uh, maybe a couple of fertilizer and a couple of um, seeds and uh, bring them back and store them on the yard or we'll store them uh, where the other stuff is at the moment um, I think there is a couple of old um, um, like water tanks that um, I'm thinking about getting rid of as well so I might load those up and take them down to the shop 
and um, see if they can make any um, any use of them. Or I might um, I might move them over maybe and um, and keep them on the yard. I haven't I don't know yet. All I know is I don't want them where they are at the moment. So uh, yeah, so that's really the plans for the next maybe the next sort of few few vlogs really. Um, hopefully we're going to get start being able to get some seed into the ground. That's going to be the main the main thing for us I think and uh, that's gonna start really bringing the farm on there we go let's this here is nearly done ladies and gentlemen it's uh, very surprising. It actually gets quite wide up this end, but um, so basically what I have what I have done on this field because it's only the corn and the sugar beets and the sunflowers if I choose to go down that route that are going to require pre-cultivation um, because this that's what comes from the um, other the other cedar that I have um, but the other one if I if I, I mean if I, if I choose to go maybe canola maybe down that route then I won't need to cultivate so I have literally probably only done half of this field possibly maybe a bit less um, and uh, I haven't decided on whether I'm actually going to um, completely uh, cultivate this I probably I probably will end up cultivating it all just to be safe I mean it's not gonna hurt if I have to um, if I double cultivate to be honest um, it might it might make oh come on go you know it just it just kind of tills up the um, the ground so let's I mean it shouldn't do it shouldn't do any harm if I do decide to do to go down that route but um, we'll uh, wait and see I seem to say that a lot a lot of waiting involved in farming that's for sure so but uh, I'm loving I'm loving the GPS I really am you know it kind of you can you literally Literally, I could put my feet up and let just let the tractor go. You know, when you see these, when you see like the big, like the American big buds with the GPS and that, I mean, and just like miles and miles of field. You know, that must that must get monotonous. You want to hope you've got some form of like 4G or something like that, so you can watch. You could watch YouTube vlogs while you bring your tractor, couldn't you? See? There's uh, an idea for you all. Not a bad idea at all, that, I don't think. Drop that down, there we go, awesome. So, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's... I'm going to call that an episode, I think. You know, it's been a lot a lot of cultivating to be honest but I'm hoping that it's been informative so you now know what's to come in future future videos and uh, let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that we uh, we get a decent um what's happened there it's like the um workers didn't actually plow everywhere strange still never mind like I said guys I do hope you've enjoyed I really do and uh, thank you ever so much for watching it's uh, it's always nice when people leave a comment or something to uh, let me know that they're in enjoying what I do um, you know it, it, it also as I've said you know it can get it can get quite monotonous and quite tedious being sat in a in a cab all day long 
Here we go. You know, so it gives me something to do, even though it is just kind of chatting away to myself when I'm sat here. But it is something for me to do, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time out and watching it. So that's enough of me rambling on thank you ever so much don't forget to please leave a like share the video subscribe to gamer dragon who has been very kind in allowing me to upload my vlogs to his channel and i will speak to you all in the next one cheers for watching guys take care <laughs>